In this video, we're going to take a look at what the asset data looks like in Maximo after Microdesk model stream has been used to synchronize a Revit BIM model. We're going to look at an air handler asset that initially existed in a Revit BIM model and was created in Maximo using model stream synchronization. To start, we're going to take a look at the air handler's location by opening up the Maximo location drill down and showing the path to the top. We can see the hierarchy that was automatically generated by model stream and that it has four levels. We can also see the documents that were loaded into Maximo as part of the model stream migration process. These documents were referenced as parameter values on this particular asset and we can see that one was a reference to a local file and one was a URL. When we switch to the model stream model viewer tab, we can see the air handler in the context of the 3D BIM model. There are no plugins required to view the model, just a WebGL compatible browser. In the model viewer, we can see that the air handler has been selected. In the left pane, we can see the Maximo attribute values for the air handler asset record. Switching to the Revit tab, we can see all of the parameter values from the Revit model when it was converted to a web viewable format. This can be very useful, especially when inspecting entities in the model that would not be tracked as Maximo assets. For example, you might want to know the diameter of a pipe or duct connected to a piece of equipment, and you can do that from within the model viewer without having to open up Revit. Next, we're going to switch over to the work orders application in Maximo. We have a sample work order created that includes some air conditioning units. We're going to drill into that work order record and we can see that we have five air conditioning assets that are linked to this work order. When we switch over to the model stream model viewer tab, we can see that there is a different interface than what we saw previously. Because this is a work order with multiple assets, instead of a single asset, we can see the list of assets that is associated with this work order. As we click on the hyperlink for each asset, we can see that the asset in the model viewer is centered in the view and highlighted. As we click on the hyperlink for each asset, we can see that the asset in the model viewer is centered in the view and highlighted.